Mega bu ek çaldı bir gülsem. And one thing that I really love doing here in Korea is going around to all of the cool and interesting cafes. So thank you so much for your love and support. Please love and support us here on Battle Like. I love Battle Like. <laughs> So I've been in Korea for four years and I've had plenty of time to eat lots of food and I love going around and tasting various types of Korean foods. So today we are in Incheon in a place called Nengmyeon Kori, which means Nengmyeon, which is cold noodle streets. And there's so many different types of cold noodles here, but actually in Korea in general, there's so many types of noodles. There's kongguksu, which is like noodles and soybean broth. There's makguksu, meimilguksu, which are like buckwheat type noodles. There's kaiguksu, so many types of guksu. But today, because it is summertime, we're going to be exploring cold noodles because in the summertime, Korean people really like to have, you know, shiwanango, which is like a really cold, you know, refreshing noodle. So we are going to taste three different types of noodles today. I bet you wonder what types of noodles we're going to taste. Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Well, why don't we find out? So you guys know, of course, if I'm going to be eating noodles, I can't just come alone, right? So I'm here no, with no, my no. girl. Kasi! Today we're going to be tasting first subak nengyang. Subak nengyang. Subak means watermelon. Right. So we're going to be having watermelon cold noodles. We're walking down the nengyang kori. Walking down the nengyang kori. Let's down the nengyang kori. There's a lot of kori in Korea. There's also tteokbokki kori and like somewhere. You want to be on top? Yeah. They have several types, and this is their standard naengmyeon, which is just oh. buckwheat oh, noodles, oh, fresh yeah. broth, and fried dishes, yeah. cucumber, yeah. sesame seeds, and a spicy sauce on top. Here, they're famous for their watermelon naengmyeon, though. Aren't you curious to see what it looks like? I am, too. Let's see. So they just gave us aprons so that we don't splash red sauce on our clothes. Ah, not that. Can I even Oh, It looks so delicious. So what it is is the same as regular naengmyeon with the buckwheat noodles, the cucumber, the radish, the spicy sauce, the sesame seeds. But instead of it being in a beef broth, it's in a watermelon. Let's dig in. Let's dig in. Let's dig in. Sing 
name soup. Chewing that name soup. Chewing that name soup. Chewing that name soup. Now, this noodles name soup, cold water. Or you can get fun soup, which means hot water. These machines are like everywhere. And then also, in most of the places, they also have a self coffee machine. Place. All right, so we just took down that subak nengneng, that watermelon, cold noodles, and now it's time for us to have kaiguksu, which is noodles made out of kaiguksu, wow. wheat flour. Wheat flour. <laughs> so let's go inside and see what kind of guksu we gonna eat, okay? So we got our side dishes, we got a couple types of kimchi, some pickles and some ground peppers to put in the stew later, some red pepper paste and sesame oil to put in the barley. It tastes really, really good when you mix it together. our kaiguksu, which are noodles made of wheat flour. It's got zucchinis and the broth is really good, like seafood seasoned broth. And this step is totally optional, but those ground up peppers, if you want, you can add them into the kaiguksu. It just gives it a little bit more flavor. Oh! Oh, let's get this. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to describe the flavor. It's not super salty, it's just a mild flavor. And not so salty because, you know, again, in the summer we eat it, so it can't be too salty because you have to be hydrated, right? So actually in Korea, they have this thing where they say, you know, in the summer, you eat something hot, and then it'll seem like it won't be so hot outside. So for today, the third place that we're going to go eat is we're going to have one of my personal favorite foods in the whole world. It's called kumbuksu. If you guys watch my videos on YouTube, you know how much I talk about kumbuksu. And in the summertime, we eat it cold. I've never eaten it warm. However, in the wintertime, some people do warm it up and eat it as well. So we're just going to have some kumbuksu now. Are you ready to go? Let's go. Kumbuksu. Nice kumbuksu. And usually when you get it at places, they'll put like sesame seeds on top and maybe cucumbers. So I've seen tomatoes and like sesame seeds. Okay, so we just got our food. This is the first time I'm having warm kongguksu because usually I make it at home cold with ice. So what this is, is literally, oh, it's just soybeans that you boil, and then you take them and blend them with water. All right. Good. The noodles that they use at this place are flour noodles. I've also had it with um, the noodles that we ate earlier today, the buckwheat noodles. Mm -hmm. I think texture-wise, it goes a little bit better with buckwheat noodles. Then it does with flour noodles, but it's still good. It's like minimal salt added. It's like something that's very easy to digest, easy on the stomach. And nutritious. Very nutritious. That's some good food. Oh, say bye. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. Like earlier, it was very flavorful and salty and this and this. But this one is more bland, but a good bland, if that makes sense. There's so many other different types of noodles, and they're so good. But today, because my very favorite thing to eat is kongguksu, I would say that the kongguksu was not my favorite. Actually, the watermelon was my favorite, because when I eat kongguksu, I like to have it with sesame seeds and cucumbers on the top, even though that's not like the main, main way you eat it. Yep, I'll have to also say subak naengmyeon, watermelon noodles, what? Yeah, yeah, it was so I don't good. think anything can beat that. No I don't think anything can beat that. So thank you so much for watching us here on Battle Legs. Bye.